have you noticed any changes in the hallway since we've come back to school? Since GIS reopened after a semester of online learning, there have been a lot of new safety measures put into place. We've had to do social distancing in classes, at lunch, and in the bathrooms. Another safety measure was recently put into place, which is the safety assistance in the hallways. Some of these assistants also help with the school buses, and their primary job is to help control the spread of coronavirus and to make sure that kids practice social distancing. They help make sure that kids stay one meter apart, make sure that there are only two people in the bathrooms at a time, and they also help the nurse by bringing kids with a fever directly to her or to the quarantine rooms. Uh, so over the summer, um, I'm, we formed a little COVID kind of task force <laughs> with myself and with Nurse Becky and Ms. Park and Ms. Hong, some other uh, office staff members. And we just read a lot of different um, information from the, the Daegu Office of Education. And we were able to visit other schools in Korea and the public schools. And we saw that they had um, helpers like by the bathrooms to make sure there weren't too many kids in the bathroom and that people were distancing in the hallways and things like that. So that's where the idea came from, just seeing what other schools were doing. And we um, were able to work with our bus company. Um, you might recognize some of the ladies, they, they're some of the bus attendants. So they're the ones that are coming into school and serving as our safety assistants as well. So, uh, so far, I think it's been great. Uh, I've got some good feedback from the teachers saying it's, it's helpful to have another adult there to make sure that the kids are, you know, washing their hands, using the bathrooms appropriately and making sure there's not uh, more than two people at a time in there. In terms of other comments, it's just going to be one of those things that we see how it evolves, see if we keep needing it every single month or if it's something that once kids recognize the routines and understand the the procedures that have something that we can maybe phase out later in the year. By now, you've definitely noticed them in the halls, but you probably only see them in transitioning periods or when going to the bathroom. But how often do you think about what else goes on during a normal day for them? Here's a closer look at what a normal day is like for these ladies. There is nothing tiresome with this job because all we do is monitor the students. However, as we have to sit here for very long periods of time, we become very bored and our bodies get stiff. Then we just open and close the windows or turn the lights on and off just to get our bodies moving once in a while. That's it, there's nothing especially difficult. One thing that I really wish would be improving my language skills. As DIS is an international school, if I were to speak a little more fluently in English or understand more, I would have felt more as a part of the community. Though I really appreciate that from students to teachers, they are all very nice to us every day. Safety assistants play an important role in making sure that the coronavirus does not spread at DIS, and they also make an impact that not many people think about. Next time you pass them in the halls, think about what goes on to keep the school safe.